Manipur joins in observing 72nd International Human Rights Day 2020 on Recover Better Stand Up for Human Rights Team. Chief Minister Nong Tamambirind inaugurates third edition of Manipur International Textile Expo at Urban Hut in Nilakuti. Chief Minister, uh, Minister Thongam Biswas opens 15-day National Handloom Expo 2019-20 to promote Manipur's handloom and handicrafts. Manipur reports 151 new confirmed cases of COVID-19, no dead case and 96 recovered cases in the last 24 hours. Their toll remains at 380. Chief Minister Nong Tamambirin inaugurates 100 bedded COVID block at Janim's complex in Infalk East District. India's COVID-19 daily crosses 97 lakhs with over 31,000 cases reported in the last 24 hours. Recovery rate reaches 94.74%. And Prime Minister Narendra Modi lays foundation stone of new parliament building to be constructed by Tata Projects Limited. Hello and welcome to Impact News. You're watching Prime Time English Bulletin. I'm Kangusa Michelira. To stay protected from coronavirus, wash your hands frequently, wear your masks properly, and maintain a safe distance. Now the top stories and latest news at this hour. Manipur joined the worldwide observation of the 72nd International Human Rights Day on the team Recover Better Stand Up for Human Rights Today. Manipur Human Rights Commission observed the day at the banquet hall of the first MR today. Speaking on the occasion, Law Minister Dihi Sati Brita has assured of striving to enhance Manipur Human Rights Commission into a full-fledged commission. Minister Dihi Sati Brita said that the rate of human rights violation cases in Manipur has decreased to a great extent with the advent of the present government. Speaking on the occasion, MHRC Acting Chairperson Kaidem Mani called upon everyone to be aware of the one's fundamental rights and assured of necessary help from the commission. ปัจจุบันฟังก์ชันนั้นโดยที่เห็นนักข่าวมาพุ่งพาวมีเบลโกวาลเดชีฮับชันบาอดุมบามาพุ่งพาวมาคอมมิชชั่นนั้นมาโ
mostly translated document the world record over 500 language translate taw roba ada khoi gi mase khoi manipuri language ta maite lon da khoi translate taw no ba khoi ngasi no misi lor ga adugi haujagani ngasi human right days ge mari lene na khoi maru ene khoi da lai ba arm process pe power 1958 masi su masi gi tanja asgi khoi khudong sa ba ga masi rebuild taw gi matam yo we na khoi department thamje ni a khoi loi loi na khoi department da khoi manipur si arm conflict ki kari gi human rights law ge problem su lai bani na khoi manipur university da international human rights law and it refuse you log center amale hena da ka lai adu research taw ga masi na khoi gi arm conflict oi ma bo oi ma si mayam si da ka na ma so idna pur ka Human Rights Defender Manipur observed International Human Rights Day on this year's team recover that is stand up for human rights at new checkon speaking on the occasion chairman of human rights defender manipur joy singh kam streets on the need to spread awareness on human rights to build a peaceful society he added that it is high time to include human rights in school syllabus leaders of various civil society organizations attended the event koi hing bagi right sa masi lai ra kan da koi shanti hoi na koi kamune koi thok tana ba amadi kitini kaung hoi ta ra amin nari ba sil na me am si punna nu si mila ra ga chaukut pa manipur ma tung ni future lai ba adu gum ba ana mani ta mum ba manipur do ngasi di mangthar la ba khunai ma koi tri wai sa koi na mikap thong ga koi kai to boi agi malam gi ma phong kori ma ta koi rights to life sa amadi right to speech and the right to freedom rights me am sa masi koi khamin na ama mathok ta bade ge koi mamang gi tha de ge koi mate paang se khom je kare ano ba inter session gi matung de ge de koi session me ama matham ga school college da koi me na sky no hai se na se syllabus ta su ya hun ba adu la le le na koi awareness ke de me ama paang to se na koi din ba khana bale jari human rights initiative hr hri manipur and families of the involuntarily disappeared association also jointly observed human rights day at hri manipur office in wonkai thanga bot mapal palace compound today advisor of hri manipur retired ias rk nimai said everyone has a major role in protecting human rights he also appealed to health workers and doctors to ensure patients fundamental human rights during covid-19 pandemic Leaders of CSOs attended the event. The ideas of Kavadam is a thing. The first important thing is that James Lee does not have a chance to block block the chance. Because I just feel you know that he will come here. He never stand up for the goal of the school. That's why we supply the even material to the country. That's why we talk about things in the protocol in the way that he will come here. Adu tawar ka sida asfoy kasi koy ka plak tawar ka dami. Adu di tawar ka dami ang nare, may ginarsa ang nare, hari ka tawar na hapo ka tuyo. Follow up sa mga tawar ka dami. Very unfortunate. Brief videos of those killed in fact encounters in severe violation of human rights are broken yet brief to continue striving for justice. An exclusive report from the Impact News Associate Editor Zoishri Usham and Camera Person El Kabi. Renuta Kelambam last saw her husband Mung Hangzo alive in the morning of April 6, 2007. They were married for hardly 2 years with a son who is now studying in the 9th standard. There are 1528 cases of alleged fake encounters or staged extrajudicial executions in Manipur alone. Families of such killings came together on July 11, 2009 to support each other and strive for justice. Amma mam to oi na fight taw bagi mahuta akhoi je punsa laga akhoi je fight taw ning taw na bagi akhoi gi platform ma ka akhoi je sagat charak pani ena ai thamja ge 2009 11 July da ifam mana extra judicial killing da hat khiba Manipur gi mayam je sigi da makta koina ifam mana ma semja raga koina fight taw rok pani Renu is the president of this association called Extra Judicial Execution Victims Families Association IFAM. They observed its 11th anniversary on July 11 this year at Human Rights Alert Office in Kwaketel Imphal. Am for the special power exigi marum jida tawrai ba mihat miut minai miam se miam mo thingna lam ni na makhoi gi mathakta achumba aran bichar se akhoi 
ফে হাবসে থাজবি খর দি ওয়াট প্রায় খালে আদমা মি লব অথরিটিং চিনা জিস হব জিস নে খুদমে পুরনবি হোনবসে খুদমে দায়তর আইনদে খে She is Ningthaujam Ongbi Edina Yaikom, General Secretary of IFAM. Her husband Ningthaujam Ananda Singh was killed on the fateful day of 21st January 2009. Edina was married to him for seven years with two children. Edina said her kids hardly remember their father now as they were very small when he was killed. Karap ping ay dadi mo na mapado husik tika o bukaw sa lebe masakse. Na mo diyan pick na rehu ba ni na na hawai ping ay dadi kara uho ba sing do babana sumay hayram do nung si ko koy ba do ka na. These widows of conflicts are trying their best to hold their hearts and look after their families. Some are taking manual jobs, whatever that comes by, to raise their children. Hapneng Kipgen of South Changaubung village of Kangpukpi district last saw her husband Lalenthang Kipgen on 25th May 2005. She now sells charcoal to support her family. Egi nupas yiba matunda ena wana mi gilamunda meitan tigraga asi meitan si tigraga bazaar bazoon naga adum imung manung zukani. While Salima Memcha of Moiding Awang Lekai lost her husband MD Fazirudin on the fateful night of January 21, 2010. Rani Langpuklakpam of Haubam Marak Ngangom Lekai also lost her husband Langpuklakpam Bimol Chandra on July 4. 2008 in a similar incident she has two children one studying in class 12 and another in class 6 2009 dagi ai je sumai tawna koi gi form si form to matung da program to bani khang de dagi mayam sum to ko da ha kanu to bhai da koi maten khara sum pang boi na ai adum khuj bokti lai ri ai da Sanasam Ongbi Sonia from Sawambung Gate also lost her husband Sanasam David on 4th February 2012 And Ahibam Ranjna Lema of Takiel Kolom Lekai lost her husband Ahibam Oken Maitei in a similar incident on 1st February 2009. She sells shoes for a livelihood. There are 1,528 alleged fake encounters or staged extrajudicial execution cases in Manipur alone. In July of 2017, the Supreme Court of India ordered the CBI to probe 39 cases. Though a small number compared to the total number of cases reported, credit goes to the perseverance and ceaseless strife of IFAM. These brave-hearted widows will not get back their husband, but... Memories stay on and they will continue to fight for justice. With camera person LKV, this is Joyce Shusham, Impact News, Imphal. Manipur State Legal Services Authority and Human Rights Alert jointly organized a panel discussion come interactive session on International Human Rights Day today. The event was held at the office of Manipur State Legal Services Authority ADR Center in Plumfeld Park. Director of Commonwealth Human Rights Initiative CHRI Sanjoy Hazarika spoke on access to justice in India's northeast region barriers and bridges General Secretary of Northeast Support Center Dr Alana Golmai stresses on racial discrimination during the COVID-19 pandemic the pandemic lockdown the lockdown and the misconception and deputy member secretary of manipur state legal services authority sadananda sarokhaibam spoke on endeavors of the legal services institutions during the covid-19 pandemic director of human rights alert bablu loitongbom was the moderator of the panel discussion district legal services authority senapati under msla observed human rights day at session court complex in senapati district today winners of the district leveled online essay and painting competition were felicitated at the event 
DLSA Senapati Chairman Samom Ibsent, DLSA Secretary Asem Tarun Kumari, President of Senapati District Bar Association, SP Thomas, Retainer Lawyer, DLSA Senapati Victoria, DLSA Senapati Members and Staff in Senapati Legal Aid Clinic, PLVs, took part in the event. President of Senapati District Bar Association, SB Thomas, gave resourceful insights on the year's team at the event. Kuki Kanglite Longpi KKL General Headquarters, in collaboration with District Legal Services Authority, Jorjampur, observed Human Rights Day and held one day legal awareness campaign at KKL General Headquarters Office Complex, IB Road, Jorjampur, today. Leaders of various frontal organizations affiliated to Kuki in P. Jorjampur attended the event. A question and answer session was also concluded in the event. BJP Law Cell also observed the 72nd Human Rights Day 2020 at BJP Head Office today. President of BJP Manipur Pradesh is Dikendra, Vice President of BJP Manipur Pradesh, R.K. Somorjit, Convener of Law Cell BJP Manipur Pradesh, Moirang Thiem Karamchand, attended the event. Committee on Human Rights COHR Manipur also observed International Human Rights Day at the committee's office in Singzamai Wangma Vegapati Lekai today. Students' Unions of the Royal Academy of Law Inam also observed International Human Rights Day at the conference hall of the college today. Speaking at the event, Chairman of the RAL Oinam Governing Body and ex MLA Oinam Dr. I. Ibo Halimbi said the world has witnessed four pandemics so far. He asked whether basic human rights are being violated or not in the state amid the current COVID 19 pandemic. Student organization Desam sends greetings on the occasion of the International Human Rights Day. Chief Minister Nongtamban Biren today inaugurated the third edition of Manipur International Textile Expo at Urban Herd in Nilakoti. The Chief Minister distributed fly shuttle looms to 2,250 beneficiaries of 16 districts and launched e-commerce site named Pauna Mart on the occasion. And Biren assured to provide yarns at subsidized rate to weavers and also to procure their products. He also declared that government will make efforts to enter the making of school uniforms to local weavers to make the state self-reliance. The chief minister also mentioned that till yesterday, 18,500 houses have been constructed under PMGAY in the state. He added that MLEs of 60 assembly constituencies of the state have been instructed to facilitate construction of houses for at least 30 to 40 destitute families in their respective constitutions. Constitu constituencies. And Biren encouraged those candidates who failed to clear IRB recruitment result, which was declared yesterday, by stating that there are over 6,000 vacant posts in the Manipur Police Department. School gangs in the year level, who are the local product when a quick blow or beer. School gangs in the same uniform, kind of way, my family feel like you know, for you, Lum Mayam is a side of the pieces there. Later, Masuma, Nagi school, Nugi, my make and Nugi Masu Sangaga. I quickly do whom, Messin Mayam Lay, Lamboy Kona, the lady, Messin Mayam, two, but the Matavi Mamsa, Maduza Tuhulaka, or the Pitoga. A quick school gangs in the same with dress, a I will need a quick target, a quick lice. Own Pirani, Lang Pirani, Lang. Taking part in the event, Textile Minister Tonga Biswas had expressed pride that weavers are increasing in Manipur despite declining numbers nationwide as per national Hallum census. He said there are 2 lakhs 12,000 weavers and over 2 lakhs artisans in Manipur producing various items. Stating that government is initiating various schemes to boost the income of those working in handloom and handicraft sector, the minister assured that fly shuttle looms distributed today for 2019-20 will also be distributed for 2020-21. <laughs> providing looms to weavers under loom organization scheme hypersay, Masi Mamangi Sarkada, Lermanate Bose. Honorable Chief Minister Siri and Bidden Singal after the Equiga, Mongolian request of Jerry Harakana Masia Equina, Lady Bakuga, Ashesian, Aquig Weavers and Kunamachinche, 
ahui promote tau buat darikal lagi, hari budu no manam warga ngasi mana ngah bi, budu kini ngasi dia, kau na cai cai je, kau na lumian thuk cai, aduh ngasi ngasi su, kau ni bentuan tuan mau beneficiary dah, ngasi ngasi tu mau mangga, maya mau pih kaya, aduh mau hendak si tu thawan tu hanan fifty ni le, aduh matang masih cai, jadi baca cai, aku tu thawan twenty twenty one kena te, masih two thousand nineteen twenty kini, aduh masih matang thangna na, aku tu thawan Apoi 2021 kisah si minister dah ya bila je si perdana miam, nasi baru ini lengan biru pun macam ini orang orang si minister dah thagat kom thoi. Commerce and Industry Minister Thongam Biswazid opened 15-day National Handloom Expo 2019-20 to promote Manipur's handloomed and handicrafts at Urban Hut in Ilakoti today. Helm Weavers and Handicrafts Artisans CS Limited organized the expo, sponsored by Ministry of Textiles. Speaking on the occasion, the Minister T. His Biswazid stressed on the need to enhance the quality of local handloom and handicraft items to secure a berth in the international market. He said mission for economic empowerment of traditional artisans and craftsmen MITEC under the initiative of Governor Dr. Nasma Haftala is striving towards the same. Altogether, 28 stalls are opened at expo. Standardisation tau dapat aku na. Aduh kita mak ayah belu edition happy dapat. Aduh aku kira ni bawa asesian punya macam je. Idea lahir leh lois hawa hari. Thari posi kemain tau dengan hehe. Fahan kita ke hehe. Internation form tau dengan hehe. Aku capacity building training program je. Walam bah. Jadi macam orang kanda aku isi macam ni. Marketing platform jadi compete tau dengan dengan hehe. Aduh hujung tu tau ni. Ngam me. Aku bal quantity pi lau bah hore. Supply tau dengan maktre. Aku kira ni posi aduh na. Every asesian craftsman atau weavers. Kau di macam je. Aku kira ni bawa hari bawa capacity building ni kena je. I training now be home itake through the free that I would have been an item again every district I would have to let everybody hello me going to come over one of the fall on the lack of them that we hello me live up a common up when I'm not able to live you know I'm a phone with the highs in the maggie a quick hello reservation a came to me now I could give my daily yard about what my kid would be a quick hello get them the job target I'm gonna have a much a quick length of a quick dishes Chief Minister Nong Thoman Biren has extended full support to the three new farm loans stating that it will provide various opportunities to farmers. Speaking to media at Chief Minister's bungalow today, Anne Biren said the Farmers Producer Trade and Commerce Promotion and Facilitation Bill 2020, the Farmers Empowerment and Protection Agreement of Price Assurance and Farm Services Bill 2020, and the Essential Commodities Amendment Bill 2020, which have been ignited into laws, will benefit farmers. He blamed that certain political parties have incited the nationwide farmer hesitations against the agricultural reforms. Stating that the new farm plus will not be much relevant in the state, the chief minister appealed to farmers in the state not to fall into the trap of those political parties. Manipur state government support the Brazil bill which was passed in the parliament by the Modi-led government. It is purely in the larger interest of the farmers. It is purely in the larger interest of the nation and the those who are leading to strike and burn are all misguided and uh, supported by the vested interested and the politically motivated groups. I want to appeal to the farmer of the state and the farmer of the nation not to support this kind of agitation this, because the present bill is purely to benefit the real farmer of the country. Lok Sabha MP Dr. R.K. Ranjan asked why people remain silent when the Kesunat farmed at Jiribam's Bidyanagar, pepper milled at Kadamtala, tea gardened at Modbung, and other projects fell. He was speaking at the unveiling of the statue of founder treasurer of Obsement of Rising Maiden, ARM Philand Moirang Klima at ICD campus in Jiribam's Lucky Four today. Director of Social Welfare, Jiribam SP, and others attended the event. Kali ini nasi ni bangkit perdaan ini kau tuh pergi kau kari kita. Asyik kali itu, ini hari tu sekarang bagi orang tu, sokan hari ini bagi ni ini hari ini. Berita ni kata dia mau, sah kata dia orang kiri je. Mana pula orang kiri? Spesies of Chia mana pula yang Chia ada kali ni. The best quality of tea plants ni, British na antar orang tu. Jadi bangkit, siapa puri kau lagi? Aduga, 
Student Union of District Institute for Education and Training Diet Center has appealed to those concerned to stop protesting unnecessarily with regards to appointment of principal of the center at Kaikolt in the Infault East District as it will harm the academic atmosphere. Speaking to media at the center today, Publicity Secretary of the Union, R.K. Itzan Toibi said that the union welcomes the state government's order appointing R.K. Sashiranjan as the new principal in charge of the only diet center of the district. She said R.K. Sashiranjan is a faculty guest of the center and has been taking a major role in enhancing the center and in conducting online classes for students amid the COVID-19 pandemic. Ato bato pa dahil institut kaya ama dasho senior diski wafam sa tungoy naram laga ay kung yung junior diski ay adum adum housing mag principal in charge ay dona matau upang thogli bani ato bato pa institut da yara laga ay kung yung dad in fanis kay kol da yadi basi masi ay kung yung mahiru shingi acho ba wahanga moiri asikom laba yung fam yaug da ba issue da chaye kung yung naba kaya ama thog dona akademi atmosphere da thugai na haba yung mahuta he na dumating panganingi o zasingi tolok changa na pidriwa amadi institut asikom yung kari awad pa la rigide he na miyang sanghaningi mara madu na ngasigi panbiri gawa Mayan amadi marilay na ba department sina asigum la ba yung fam yaug da ba issue si lepi na ba gida mag amadi hausyo si insas o iba principal si audum o henbiu hayo na ay kahiro si nga puning ani long dana government gipuni si insinjeri. Staff of Sadar Each Range, Sadar West Range, Nomai Jing Range and Sawumbung Range and the Central Forest Division carried out protest demonstration today against the threats imposed by villagers of Chenam Sandrok in Fault East to Forest Department staff on November 29. The sit-in was staged at various forest office complexes and 18 beat offices under Central Forest Division, Mandri Bukhi. It may be mentioned that villagers of Sanam Sandrok in Fault East reportedly threatened the staffs of Forest Department for preventing them from cutting down trees at Whitehall Pro Protected Forest Yeripo Block Compartment No. 8 in Chenam Sandrok on November 29. Members of Joint Forest Management Committee, Safe Environment Committee and many locals of the area took part in the protest. Protesters held various placards which read, We work for humanity, help us protect your forests and environment, teach the culprit a lesson, punish the culprit, stop threatening forest staff on duty, and low breakers should be punished. <laughs> State ki official forest ki reporto officially forest area ne na lau kuki bolay ragdi pata da na mafum dite ki uyan ba ki hak si laite masi gathing masi kuki ba 1996 ki December ki tang taran ki le taagi ba Supreme Court order amalay adu matum da 1998 ta taagi ba order amalay sur Supreme Court order amalay sur kuki pata lein order ba sur forest area ne hai dona lau kuki mafum sing dite ki na na musing uyan ba ta ragdi. Madu Forest Department ni sembah koi walking plan ni dalam malay. Madu walking plan tu ki makha aga Forest Department ni dia tanah raga. Ayah belum nak kerumah ni. Ia ni kita ni. Adalah madu koi ki makam tu lagi pada ada jenis ni koi na tanah raga lagi belum ni. Adalah makam tu ki buah yang muda makoi ki rai ni kita hai budi ran ber persepsi ni malay. Belum nak koi na kena jei. Manipuri Muslim Social Unification and Upliftment Organization has urged Department of Minority Affairs to review the application issued to select, to select beneficiaries for EDP scheme 2020-21. Press release from the organization also appeals to the authorities concerned to sort out trades which can facilitate and enhance the minorities. Manipur reported 151 new confirmed cases of COVID-19, no dead cases, and 96 recovered cases in the last 24 hours. As part of the State Health Department and COVID-19 Common Control Room press release at 5 p.m. today, Manipur's total confirmed COVID-19 cases have reached 26,685, out of which 2,970 are active cases. Their total remains at 318. On the positive note, 96 people recovered in the last 24 hours. With this total number of recovered cases have reached 23,397. State's recovery rate improves to 87.67%. Infected persons are 116 from the general population and 35 the personnel of the armed, Central Armed Police Force. Infected persons from the general population are 41 from the Infault West, 32 from the Infault East, 13 from Bishnupur, 8 from Taubal, 7 from Jorjampur, 6 from Ukru, 3 from Technopol, 2 each from Senapati and Jiribam districts and 1 each from Chandal and Kampopi districts. All are locals without any significant travel history. They are being shifted to COVID care facilities and necessary measures are underway.
Chief Minister Nong Thamban Biren inaugurated a 100-bedded COVID block at Jadim's complex in Infaltis district today. With this addition, there are a total of 145 beds in the existing COVID block. Speaking at the event, Chief Minister and Biren urged one and all who are in the medical profession to work with more dedication in curbing COVID-19 pandemic. He said, like soldiers in the wars to protect the sovereignty of the country, doctors, nurses, paramedical staffs and others in the medical profession should lead from the front in tackling the virus because they are the people who are capable to these tasks. Stating that the government and the people acknowledge the efforts of medical professionals in fighting the pandemic, the chief minister assured to look into their demands. Advisor to CM Health Dr. Sapam Ranjan, State Chief Secretary Dr. Razis Kumar, Principal Secretary of the Health Department, V. Volun Monk, Director of Health Services Dr. K. Razo, Jennings Director Dr. D. H. Bimo, and Jennings Medical Superintendent Professor K. H. Lokeshore were present on the occasion. Doctors and nurses in a COVID patient looking manaka sanga or card the sanga the lying with the Kayam Yamna Waram Gudagi Hebdo. I can read. What do you allow for the quick name? I give you in Balakuda. Uniform do one and but that day. Fat no Pokushi Abnate, Lucy Sangonate. Kayam Yamna good doctors in the one nurses in the one Honegis issue. Many Pugimamas who come in the bar to Chibimamas. A queen is coming. A queen is some respect of it. I'm Lucy. ขอเนบิรุมายามสิอะดูไอ้เนี่ยมาใช้ฮาร์ดดิสก์ขึ้นเห็นนะมันมีเลยเพียบดับลงในเทงเลยนะเสียเทงเลยดิขนาดเทง
digital frying well monitor OAK Raman spectre spectrometer and food system system for this uh, detection and presumptive identification of pathogenic microorganism from food stuff. Additional Food Safety Commissioner Dr. Gerazo handed over the testing kits to food safety staff of 6 district at Medical Directorate today. Speaking on the occasion, Dr. K. Razo appealed to, to be careful of what we consume and also appealed to food business operators to sell good quality and hygienic foods. He added that mobile labs of Food Safety Wing have started functioning. He said that people can get their food tested at Food Safety Labs. State Northern Officer Kit D.O. in Fault West, Tech Chum and Drokava, said that the kits are very important. He said Raptors Diagnostic Reader Kit will be available to check the presence of tetracycline, B lactrums, and sulfonamides, which are banned in dairy products. Digital Frying Oil Monitor Kit will test the freshness of cooking oils, and OAK Raman Spectrometer will test the quality of cooking oils used by in eateries. Sabagi, my case is the Sue, the Queen India Gomena, Queen Manipo Gomen, is section Pirapodigi, Queen Manipo Gomena, Yam sincerely low than a put key sections in the Yakuya Kana Honazari, with district Kurimoka Masigi, put septic section Lorenle, Masina, Yakuna put key Zagas, the Yakuya Kana section, put business operator, Mayam Singh, certain sake of Dana, Sabagi Maranda, Tapo Yamaranda, Lysias, Pazana Pibra, Pazana Hazinic Winner, puts you on Bra, have to see Yakuya Kana section, Honazari, Oak Roman Spectrometer Hibani. Ribuk kit asina oil sampan sing pan the bamakulgi Jansen Poyan Toshinbra Haina Kutakta Sanging Tonganabani Digital Frying Oil Monitor Klaya Sigi Mami Klaya Sigi Mapana Tong Takota Sijan Nariba Tawase Fresh Oidibra Quality Tashanga Ladybra Nataka Litabra Hibido Pantok Pongam Hali Sabagi Makai Old Manipura PET Successful candidates of 10th and 11th IRB Riflemen and Zamedar 2019 appreciated Chief Minister M. Brent for declaring the result of the IRB Riflemen after 11 months. Press release front batch appealed to declare the result of Zamedar and to conduct the Baba Wars of Riflemen and Zamedar at the earliest. Chairperson of Kakching Municipal Council, Naurem Sanjit Kumar, District Administration Kakching ADM M. Kapalzit, and Kakching Police Additional SB A. Romendro jointly flag off an awareness boat rally to conserve the Singmai River passing through Kakching District today. District Administration Kakching, along with District Municipal Council, JNGVO Kakching, AKSU Kakching, KKC Elt, and residents along Singmai River Banks carried out the rally. The rally kicked off from Kakching Keraching on Singh Mai River, passing through Greater Dam. Speaking to media, ADM M. Kapalzit said body of various pigs were found floating and stuck in the river a few days ago. He warned that dumping of waste and catching fish using electric currents are punishable offenses. He appealed to people for, for support in keeping the river clean. <laughs> ไปปาวพังเนี่ยปาวพังแล้วมาตรงสิดาเซเกนมินิสเตรชั่นซิกิไซต์ตะกิเซงไมรีเวสกันดบดียาดบนี่อคุยมายามกิถกดางนี่ม
This is the first branches in Imphal and almost 30 in Northeast. And it is world class, international standard in terms of cleanliness, in terms of qualities and in terms of service. These three points, it is international standards. And we are very happy and proud that we are opening our first uh, Domino's Pizza outlet in uh, Imphal, first in Manipur also. And we hope we will be able to serve the guest here. And uh, there is a lot of love for the brand we have seen throughout the days when we were constructing this site. And we hope we will be able to serve good product. Pre-production ceremony of Manipur is filmed Nang Sukhangu under the banner of Golden Pictures was held today. The event was held at the residence of the film producer, come story writer, the Kelang Bomb Ongbi Ras Kumari Toy Toy at Sangai Brok Mangang Lake, Mamang Lakeai Airport Road. Chairman of Film Forum Manipur, Samjit Sabam, Mongol Jao, social worker Sana Sampremananda, and filmmaker Ozit Babu Ningtozan graced the event. Speaking on the occasion, Chairman of Film Forum Manipur, as Mongol Jao said that efforts are being made to dub Manipuri films into other languages to find a place in bigger markets. He appealed for public support in promoting local films. Screenplay and dialogue of the film is by Ranjit Ningtoza, Homesori is the film's director, and Surjit Kanta, alias B.B. Surjit, is the cinematographer and editor. Suras, Niki, Sani, Uma, Ido, Lilabati, and Puneshwari are in lead roles of the film, expected to be released in the early part of 2021. Impact TV team offers condolences upon the demise of former Inspector General of Police, Manipur Police Department, Moirang Tem Santikumar from Uripo Gopales Dileira. IGP M. Santikumar was a regular panelist of the Impact News Manung Khutna program. Manipur Horse Riding and Polo Association MHRPA also condoled the untimely demise of former founder member of MHRPA and Vice President M. Santikumar, retired IPS. Manipur Horse Riding and Polo Association, Manipur Equatorian Association and Manipur Pony Society held a condolence meet at Manipur Pony Breeding Fund in Lavelle Bar today. Members of the association observed two-minute silence as a mark of respect to the departed soul. Sri Sri Gopal uh, Gobindazi Nat Sanskritan to Wankai Palace compound in Infaltis district held a condolence meet for Lad Pamma Sri Astad Debo today. The Lad Morton contemporary dancer was also a recipient of Sangit Nata Academy Award. Secretary of Speak Wahing Bumt Ibom Chang J and Manipur Dance Academy Guru Maiho Bum Satya Bant J and Manipur Dance Academy retired Guru Namirak Bum Tambal Ngo attended the event. Sagolbant MLA RK Imo has distributed CMHT, PNJAY and Chief Minister Tengbang cards to 950 beneficiaries of Sangolbant constituency. The MLA said that the cards were distributed according to 2011 census report and yellow cards will be distributed to those who did not get their cards and another survey will be carried out. Sagolban Constituency Progressive Committee organized a distribution program at Sagolban Tangsam Later Community Hall. Health cards were also distributed to 15 differently able people at the event. I think I think I think I hospital I think 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 I ไฮเวอร์มีสิกิกาชินะขระดวงสุฮอสพิทาลิตี้ตัวมาตําดาอนาวะลาคมาตําดานาวะสิกะนามตะปามนะเตอะดูตังไอพะดะวะลาคมา
The association under the supervision of the Infalt West SP, K. Mega Chandra, extended financial aid of 1 lakh rupees to father of lead BDA personnel W. Michael, son of W. Mani from Thawam Marak Nigom Lekai and the Singzami Police Station. Association members observed two minute silence as a mark of respect to the departed soul at the condolence event at Infalt West SP Conference Hall today. It may be mentioned that the association has extended monetary help to 14 pled members and 10 injured members in the district so far. In Fault West District Commando team carried out cordon and search operations at 10 hotels in Tangal Market from 6.30 to 7.30 this morning. The team led by Commando DSP under the supervision of District Additional SP Operation El Amarjit verified altogether 100 individuals during the drive. Police teams led by Infault West District Commando OC Ditian Kofi violated at various places in Infault West District this evening. Speaking to media, police urged the public not to step out of their homes during the curfew. They appealed to follow COVID-19 SOPs. Consumer Affairs Food and Public Distribution Minister T.H. Satyabrita greets people of the state on the occasion of Nupilan Day, which falls on December 12th. Thirteen Dogra Batlian will sponsor all the sport equipments and nutrients for Manipuri female MMA fighter Josoras Kumari from Moirang. Thirteen Dogra Batlian CEO Colonel Abina Kusheta declared the same while felicitating Josoras Kumari at Brilliance Academy in Maitram today. The Batlian, along with the Guardian Group and Joso Support Group, organized the event. The Garrison Group also declared to provide monetary assistance of 20,000 rupees every month to Jozo. It may be mentioned that the Garrison Group has initiated various activities to ease the plights facing the MMA fighter. It may be mentioned that Jozo Raskumari owns a local hotel. She also sells various items including clothing and dry fish for a living. Jojo Rajkumari has helped herself to reach this stage. Now, let's be the channel of God. Let's become channels of God to help her achieve her dreams. As a battalion, whatever I could do, I did to give her a platform. I am giving her a launch pad at this level. And I am very sure with proper training and proper diet, and proper support with the groups that are there to help her. She will be at this level in the times to come. I am very sure she will reach the nationals and the internationals. Speaking to Impact News, Jozo Raskumari said that she currently lives in a rented house in Imphal and is striving her best to pursue a successful career in MMA. Jozo said that she has also won two medals in the national level MMA fights. She hopes to become a successful MMA fighter and bring laurels for the state. Speaking on the sidelines, coach of Kangli Park Mix Martial Art Club, Nandebam Frank, assuring of training Jozo to be the best MMA fighter. Different organizations have extended help to the young and worthy MMA fighter Jojo Ras Kumari. Even 13 Dogra Battalion of Indian Army extended assistance to the young fighter. So encouragement will surely influence the young girls of Manipur to achieve their dreams. With Kimmer Person, El Kabi, this is Ketamayam Premchan reporting for Impact News, Infal. Prime Minister Narendra Modi led the foundation stone of the new parliament building and sunset marked in parliament complex today. The new building is an intrinsic park of the visit of Admani Bharat. It will be a landmark opportunity to build people's parliament for the first time after independence. The new parliament building will match the needs and aspirations of New India in the 75th anniversary of independence in 2022. It is being constructed at a cost of 971 crore rupees, which will house more committee rooms and political parties' offices than the existing Parliament House. The new Parliament House will be constructed by Tata Projects Limited. 
The proposal for the new parliament building was met by Raza Sabha Chairman N. Venkia Naidu and Lok Sabha Speaker Om Brila during the proceedings of Raza Sabha and Lok Sabha on 5th August last year. Before we end, let's take a look at the headlines once again. Manipur joins in observing 72nd International Human Rights Day 2020 on Recover Better Stand Up for Human Rights Team. Chief Minister Nathaman Biren inaugurates third edition of Manipur International Textile Expo at Urban Heart in Nilakuti. Minister Tongan Biswas that opens 15th National Handloom Expo 2019-20 to promote Manipur's handloom and handicrafts. Manipur reports 151 new confirmed cases of COVID-19, no dead case and 96 recovered cases in the last 24 hours. Death toll remains at 318. Chief Minister Nongtaman Biren inaugurates 100 bedded COVID block at Jenims Complex and Infaldis District. India's COVID-19 daily crosses 97 lakhs with over 31,000 cases reported in the last 24 hours. Recovery rates reaches 94.74%. And Prime Minister Narendra Modi lays foundation stone of new parliament building to be constructed by Tata Projects Limited. That's all we have in this bulletin. Thank you for being with us. Coming up next is Prime Time Manipuri Bulletin. For more news, you can follow Impact TV on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, and YouTube. Have a great day.